Los Angeles Lakers superstar LeBron James was fouled by Boston Celtics star Jason Tatum on what could have been a game-winning layup with less than a second left in the fourth quarter. James missed the shot but should have been given the free throws considering that Tatum hit his hand, affecting his shot. Unfortunately, there was no whistle and the Lakers-Celtics game ended in overtime. Boston eventually won in overtime. After the game, the officials admitted that they indeed missed the obvious foul call, despite the fact that referees were so close to the play when it happened. LeBron, who was heated after the missed call, told reporters post-game that it's challenging, and he doesn't understand why it wasn't whistled while he is attacking the paint just as much as any other guy in this league that's shooting double-digit free throws a night. Boston Celtics all-star Jason Tatum was asked what happened when he got away with fouling LeBron James on the most debatable moment of the last NBA night. Jason Tatum tried to stay away from the direct response about fouling LeBron James in the last Los Angeles Lakers possession. Although Jason Tatum denies committing a foul, it's clear that he committed a blatant foul on LeBron James. Did you think you made contact with him? Uh, mm -hmm. The last two minutes in overtime, it was a blur. I don't, I don't really know what happened. Um, I got to watch the game, watch the film, because everything was just happening so fast. But uh, we moved on and got the win. That's all I got to say about that. This brings back suspicions that the NBA may have been fixed. So, are NBA referees making mistakes, or are they fixing games? During the past few years, there have been many allegations. From the infamous Tim Donahue scandal to a recent survey in which almost one-third of NBA players admitted to believing that refs are fixing games. Upon closer examination, it seems these allegations may not be without merit. In an interview after the 2017 NBA draft, new player Laurie Markkanen admitted he was shocked at how games were officiated. Said he was thinking about taking up golf instead of basketball because it seemed like the rules were easier to follow. It's clear we will see a lot more putts and birdies this season if something doesn't change. Referees might argue their mistakes are honest ones, but even a quick look at some data suggests something's fishy. Of all referees who call more than 10 fouls per game, only three have called more than five technical fouls for excessive complaining this season. The bottom line is every conspiracy theorist will watch a complete game. Every call will seem suspicious, but it's not that simple. There isn't a one-size-fits-all fix because basketball is such a varied game with varying play styles across teams and players. Some games are more predictable than others. The truth is no matter how many layers you peel back at the core of this issue, you won't find the fix you're looking for.